What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to DimiV Gaming. I am DimiV and you are watching my pickups so far for uh, March 2018. I don't think there's gonna be uh, a lot more pickups this month. Unless of course uh, Limited Run Games uh, makes a delivery but uh, no idea when they're gonna drop by. So I got myself some new goodies, no retro stuff unfortunately. I wish I could have found some stuff but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So let's check what I got this month. Okay, so the first thing I got is actually not a game itself, but uh, I was at the store today actually. I went to the store to buy Nino Kuni 2, but while I was walking to it, I uh, something else caught my eye, and that was Detective Pikachu Amiibo. Look at this thing, look at how big that is, that is unbelievable. Uh, it also costs double, normally it's around 15 euros per Amiibo, but this one was 30. Uh, it's a bit expensive, but if you see how big it is, I think it's worth it, especially when you're a Pokemon fan. I mean, just look at it. Look look at its face. How cool is that? Especially when you compare it to the original size uh, Pikachu Amiibo. <laughs> look at how tiny this thing is compared to this one. That is unbelievable. Really happy to have this one. Looks so awesome. And of course, what use is it to have the Amiibo if you do not have the game itself? So I got... Detective Pikachu Detective Pikachu is an adventure game developed for the 3DS. It is a spin-off for the Pokemon franchise in which you will have to work together with a talking Pikachu to solve mysteries. So in this game we follow a somewhat odd Pikachu who is really intelligent and claims to be a really great detective. He at one point encounters a young boy called Tim who apparently is able to understand what his Pikachu is saying. Eventually they start working together and try to solve Pokemon mysteries throughout the city. You will be controlling Tim, not the Pikachu, and you will have to walk around in certain areas to find potential clues, talk to people and Pokemon to uncover uh, new information, and so on and so on. It is a rather oddball in the Pokemon franchise, but pretty curious as to what this game will have to offer. I am actually pretty curious about this game, I mean, it looks really weird, especially with the talking Pikachu. I mean, we all heard Pikachu's voice uh, on the series, and then you hear this guy talking, and that is comple <laughs> that's completely different. I mean, it, it, its voice is so low compared to the normal Pikachu, it, it's, it's really something strange. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty curious about it, it's a, it's a kind of a different game this time than the uh, normal Pokemon game, so... Yeah, I'm curious. I'm gonna give it a go. Next thing I got, and I already spoilered it a little bit, and that is Nino Kuni 2. Nino Kuni 2 tells the story of Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum, a young king who has been usurped from his castle and has to set out to reclaim his kingdom. This is a indirect sequel to the original Nino Kuni on PlayStation 3 but it can be played without, without having to play the first one because this game sets itself hundreds of years after Wrath of the White Witch. So this is a role-playing game played in third-person perspective. You will have to complete quests to progress through the story like in 90% of the RPGs. These are pretty linear to, to progress through the story but you can also freely navigate through the game's open world. You can explore towns, dungeons, villages and other dangerous places all over the world. Here you control Evan, but in battles you will be able to control other uh, characters as well. You also have the ability to build and manage your kingdom. I can't wait to start playing this one, it looks really awesome. No King's Edition for me unfortunately, I mean it, it, the Collector's Edition from uh, for this game looks so awesome, but it was around 150 euros I think and that was a little too much for me unfortunately so i got the standard edition instead that doesn't mean that it's not gonna be good either so uh, I'm, I'm just as much gonna have fun uh with this game as the next guy so it also came with some postal cards so yeah at least i got something that is also in the collector's edition the next game i got and it is also for playstation 4 everything that's coming up next is playstation 4 next one i got is elder scrolls skyrim 
In all honesty, I have never played this game before. I know, I know, shame on me, shame on me, but it, it is what it is. Uh, I, I hear so many good stuff about it, but uh, I've always been afraid of the length of the game. I mean, it's it's one of those games gonna spend way more than 100 hours in, uh, in so uh, yeah. <laughs> I've always been a bit uh, sketchy to uh, jump into the game, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm actually gonna be streaming it, so uh, if you guys are interested in the stream, keep an eye on my channel, so there's gonna be streams of this game. I don't really think that I really need to tell you guys about this game anymore. It is one of the best known RPGs out there. And sadly, I've never played it before. Your character is a uh, prisoner led to an imperial execution in Helgen. Alduin the dragon unexpectedly interrupts the procession and destroy destroys the town before you can be executed. You escape in the chaos and journey to the city of Whiterun to request aid against the dragon threat. After slaying a different dragon that attacks nearby, you absorb the dragon soul which, which grants you the ability to perform a shout. The city's guards inform you that you must be a dragonborn. You are then summoned to meet with the Greybeards, an order of monks who live in, a, who live in seclusion. The Greybeards will train you in using shouts and inform you of your role in stopping Alduin. Another game I got, and uh, I already wanted this game for for a while now, but it, it was always too high priced, and now I found it for 10 euros, and that is Arslan the Warriors of Legend. Arslan the Warriors of Legend is a adaptation from the Heroic Legend of Arslan anime TV show, which itself was adapted from a still ongoing novel series. The series at large is influenced by a 19th century Persian epic with a dash of Arthurian allusions thrown in it. The main character is the Prince of Pars, a kingdom in a state of upheaval after being invaded by a nearby dominion of Lusitania. The self-exiled Arslan spends the majority of the game's story gathering troops and trusted advisors with the ambitious goal of retaking his kingdom. Never played this game before, but it should be interesting. And last but not least, uh, another cool game to add for the PlayStation 4 collection, and that is Rat Rogers. In Rat Rogers, you play as Rat, a kid living in the 90s that hates school and loves video games. He gets sucked into the world of a game and the console that he was playing on, named Dusty, takes on a personality and, gui and guides Rat through the world. It's a simple story but it gets the job done. You will have to be platforming, running and gunning through 9 main levels. It's just one of these games that you can run through mindlessly, some good old platforming that, that you don't have to overthink. Curious about this one, and I might even stream it. Is she smoking a wooden pipe? Well, <coughs> it's my ex-husband, for f sake. Ugh, that's gross! Just go. Get your ass out of here. They're not paying me enough for this sh So yeah, that's pretty much it for my uh, video game pickups for uh, March 2018. Like I said, I would have hoped that there would have been a little bit more games, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, maybe Limited Run Games is gonna drop in some more stuff, who knows. March still has a week to go, so perhaps something is going to fall magically into my hands. 
but yeah wishful thinking okay so guys if you like this video please be sure to leave a like and or subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next video or stream thank you so much for watching guys and cheers